So this is part two of the Andrea Jones story featuring the baby. And this is when I had to start a new channel because they had shut down my phone at Victor Golden's house. And then I told y'all I got a new phone and they shut down my channel at Bernard's house where they tried to murder me by the West End Mall, Oakland Drive and Merrill Avenue. And I had to hurry up and start uh, three new channels, God Defeat Freemasons. I started a new channel, uh, uh, Leaving Egypt, the uh, Andrea Jones case, because Keisha Lance Bottoms was allowing them to abuse me, thinking that, oh, we're going to get her channel, Andrea Antoinette Jones, removed. And I started Leaving Egypt, the Andrea Jones case, showing her allowed gang members abused me on Marta and ran me off of Marta's property pregnant. And um, I started uh, Queen Andrea Antoinette Jones' channel. I already had the Silk Ministry. Um, and then I have uh, the Lion of Judah. You type in the Lion of Judah child abduction, and I have some other channels as well. And they had African Americans trying to help starve me and stop me from going in grocery stores and asking for food. They were starving me on the streets. So they decided to go ahead and start starving us. If you seen part one, you seen all the gang members and family members, people they had starving me in their homes, trying to cover up my pregnancy by this white male. And they took my son illegally, and they were trying to help the white people keep my son instead of telling the truth for their family and God said they was worshiping the white people and was going to try to set me up for a satanic ritual death and this celebrities involved that was doing witchcraft on me that knew that the white people had me back there for shooting the white man and everybody was trying to be famous and everybody was trying to uh, kill me and the lady was a child molester who they gave my son to my baby daddy's mother and he's extremely violent and I'm pregnant by him. They tortured me and the baby in the jail cell for shooting a white man in America starving us and then they was continuing to do it so right now it is um, uh, seven something in the morning the next day and they got me in a motel with a man who uh, tried to starve us in the motel room and God said that they would fall into the traps that they was laying for me in Texas when they had a man named James Devon Harris set me up to try to have me killed and God said that they was trying to leave me outside to have me murdered and this is when they stopped my YouTube channel Andre Antoinette Jones and I contacted YouTube and I said please um, will you please put my channel back up because my baby's heartbeat is on there and it showed all the places where they had me in Atlanta, Georgia and then they had um, Atlanta police try to stop me from going in the restroom and doing my makeup trying to arrest me out of the West End Mall because these people are saying this and they lied about my pregnancy and they were trying to stop me from looking pretty and then they took all my music down because I'm also an artist and I do music and they took everything off my channel I put it back up by this time I was dancing and trying to do anything just to take my mind off of what they had done to me I had they had put me in a motel with a man named Aaron he was a black Freemason in the economy in Marietta and then I was having visions of my sisters uh, telling about the visions of my sister trying to set me up to be killed and them trying to set me up to be killed out of the bathroom at the West End Mall black women and I was was texting a black man and he was still starving us telling us he was coming and starving us while I was trying to put out the evidence and I'm in here pregnant all because my baby daddy is white and God was saying I'm in a hostage situation because they had them steal my ID my social my debit cards and I came to Clarkton, Georgia because they did that to me on the south side and a man named Kevin Dupree picked me up um, and he uh, brought me to the Hampton Inn on Mountain Industrial and as I was putting out this evidence, the man continued to ignore us, continued to starve us. He was acting very engaged and when he brought us here, but God said the whole country is setting me up because I'm black and I shot a white man and I'm pregnant and so I was in this, I was still putting out the evidence of me in the room with Kevin Dupree when I first came to the east side to Clarkton, Georgia. They had me picking me up from Avenue they were bringing me to location trying to set me up and once they found out I was pregnant everybody had to hurry up and put me out because their agenda was to try to have me smoking and kill the baby so then Kevin Dupree had uh, sex trafficked me made me have sex with him and his friend then made me go with a man named Leroy saying Leroy would help me I told Leroy everything and then they had me to where I couldn't load videos in his house and he was a veteran in the military and then so I kept uh, leaving and telling and getting food they had him trying to stop me from getting groceries in his house I kept showing that I was pregnant in Leroy's house with his roommate and they were trying to act like they were feeding me but the stuff that I needed to eat while I was pregnant they were trying to stop me from having it 
And then they tr- kicked me out, told me to leave after I made this video. This is the evidence they trying to hide. You can hear Leroy try to interrupt the video, like, um, you can't do that in my house. And then they hurried up and put me out and started abusing me. This was me when I was leaving, telling uh, everybody why he was making me leave about the evidence about my pregnancy and my son, because he was in there trying to smoke in my face and set me up. And then and he was trying to have sex with me, too. And he was worshiping the white people and trying to stop me from putting out the evidence about the truth about the shooting and my son and my pregnancy. And they abused me all the way away from his home and then a man named D'Angelo Latner picked me up because I came back over there to expose how they left me out there about my evidence and D'Angelo Latner picked me up that was the night that he had got me and they had sworn up in gangs and D'Angelo forced me to go with him saying that he wanted to help us and I didn't trust him and I told him that I was pregnant and that um, they abused me like he brought me into the United Motel on Memorial Drive and bought me an extended stay say he wasn't like that I told him that I was smoking the cigarettes because everybody was abusing me and I was pregnant and that everybody abandoned me after I told them that I was pregnant and that I didn't really want to have sex but he um, said that he would help me and I told him I didn't want to be passed around and that I would have sex with him if he promised not to try to uh, put me out on the streets and he did do it anyway. He um, brought me to the motel, let me stay a week when made me have sex with him and he was trying to come back and make me have sex with him hard and then he had ended up bringing me to another motel called the Budget Tail Inn and moved me and I told him about everything they was trying to do. They had gang members and people trying to harass me in the motel at the United and then they was trying to set me up out of the budget tail in on Memorial Drive and God started showing me visions about getting my son and Joseph Overa, Austin Daddy having my son and, and that they black men need to go get my son, that he better be alive and then showing me pregnant with this little baby and that it was Austin's and then showing my older sister starting to feel bad about it and he already been showing my little sister starting to feel bad about it when they had me with Marcus Mitchell um, and then like God was just showing me with this little baby in my hand and they tried to murder us. God said that Bruce White was the reason for all of this because after Marcus Mitchell and them staged for me to be put out of uh, Luther Landon Apartments, I had been in the Salvation Army and they staged for me to go with Marcus Mitchell and Marcus Mitchell staged for me to be out on the street and then Bruce White picked me up and staged for me to be like a prostitute outside with my suitcase and God had showed like a baby did in a suitcase, but the baby wasn't all the way dead, but the baby looked it down there dead in the suitcase. And then I was running from the white Atlanta police trying to shoot me because I shot a gun. And then some black people talking about I could hide in their motel room, but I didn't want to because I knew the police would find me there. And I kept running. And then I seen the incubator in the hospital. And that's how I got saved because there was a baby in me. And um, then uh, I had a vision when I was in Marcus Mitchell house about some twins, but I had a vision about a little boy, but I was crying about some twins. But I did have a vision of myself holding a little baby that was wrapped up in plastic on the skin from being in the, my womb too long. And it was Austin's baby. And so um, the vision about Bruce White, God said I need to tell the truth about him because when he showed me the baby, when, when God showed the baby, a baby damn near dead in the suitcase, he was saying Bruce White was responsible for it. And then he was responsible for trying to set me up like a prostitute that was a drug addict and trying to keep me from my children was what the Holy Spirit said when they tried to murder me in Buckhead because then I had to go with several different men, including Victor Golden, Bernard, all these different males that were setting me up to kill me and kill the baby. And then I had to go with D'Angelo Latner to these Motel United Memorial and they had me dragging my bags. I went with Kevin Dupree to the Hampton and they was forcing me to have sex with them and now they were setting me up like a prostitute. So God said you, Bruce was the one who did that to you when you was outside and Mark his Mitchell and them put you out. You came down here to get into the shelter and they used all these black men to set you up like a prostitute and you pregnant and your baby got to go in an incubator because of it. And then they want to try to set you up like you was a prostitute and smoking.
So they was doing this to me while I was putting out the evidence about me being at the United and they had me and picking me up, trying to sex traffic me, trying to starve us in the room. And you can look at the dates of all the time frame of how long they've been doing this to me pregnant. That was July 4th. And so July 2021, so I came out here January 2021. They tortured me and my baby out here. Y'all seen, I told y'all I was pregnant. They tortured us all the way from the Montgomery County Jail. I showed the evidence. And with them being that demonic to show the evidence and y'all still trying to get away with it, they starving me right now. Um, and in this motel room on Glenwood Road while I'm putting out this evidence. And so I said, please boycott all the celebrities because they all knew that they was doing this. This is the budget tail end where God said they was trying to murder me out of that motel because they tried to murder me and my baby in a jail cell, tried to blood sacrifice us. And then I had visions of them trying to molest my son. So here is the white male that they trying to abuse me for. He was abusing me, and I, when I was looking up his record, I found out that he had got indicted on some felony charges the month of July 2021 while they was over here trying to set me up, trying to uh, starve me and the baby that I'm pregnant by him, um, and they had black men following me, trying to hurt me, and I kept calling my bloodlines because God told me to call my bloodlines all over the earth um, to tell them what they was doing to me um, because we was his bloodline, and African Americans was talking about they was going to set me up to be murdered and let my child get raped for white people. And God said, no, nah, go to Revelations and see what color he is and then call your bloodlines. So they had me at this Buddy Tail Inn on Stone Mountain Road. And as you can see, it was a, st a stove, uh, well, a microwave and a um, refrigerator. And I was able to eat. So they got me in the economy in on Glenwood Road, room 218, with no microwave, no refrigerator, trying to starve us. They are trying to starve us. I got crackers and chips and water. That's it. And the black male that brought us here is trying to starve me and stop me from putting out evidence. They trying to starve my baby bump. Um, and you can see the baby moving in my stomach. You can see the baby heartbeat. You can see the baby bump. He said he knew that I was pregnant. He admitted that he knew I was pregnant. But they was trying to hinder me from putting out the information. So I'm starving as I'm putting out this information. So they sex trafficked me from the budget tail. Um, D'Angelo left me there. He tried to have sex with me hard, left me there. I had visions of them trying to give me drugs and keep my son. And black women wanting to kill people about this bullshit. I'm sorry, but I'm just telling you from all over the earth. Um, and then, like, in the spirit. And I saw them needed to expose them for what they was doing to me. And they kept uh, having black men sex traffic me and bring me pregnant into locations and put me out and keep doing it and trying to ruin my image outside and trying to hurt me. They had black men trying to attack me. And it was hurting my stomach. It was hurting. Um, having me walk around, breaking my sandals, had the Conro, I mean, not the Conro police, but they, they the ones behind trying to murder me. But they had the Atlanta police, Clarkston police, uh, trying to set me up to be murdered outside. And they were having me sleeping at the bus stop. And I said I wanted to file a lawsuit on the um, Salvation Army for putting me out. And um, they was doing rituals saying that they would molest my son, the police, while I was in the jail, saying they was racist. And then they had the KKK around Clarkston campus where I was at the library. Um, and they had them trying to gang members in the library. And they had all the library staff was trying to intimidate me about the evidence. And they tried to block me from getting on Facebook to contact Africa and my friends on Facebook. And then I started telling about the 911 calls outside. And the man kept starving me over here in the motel room. And I kept texting them. And then so the whole month of July while they was doing that to me, they was indicting Austin, my baby daddy, on aggravated assault with a deadly weapon from his mother's residence where she supposedly had my son. And they indicted him for assault on a family member. And I just pray that it was not my little boy. I pray that he did not try to harm him again because God was showing that um, Austin was trying to get away with abusing my son while I was in the jail and that everybody was trying to cover it up um they had did witchcraft threatening to rape and molest my son when the shooting happened um saying they was racist and then um cynthia said she was a pedophile and then as you can see they had me and clarkston running me all up the road making me sleep at bus stop breaking my shoes 
and it was gang members and you could see everything that they was doing to me um they had me sleeping on the martyr platform god said i qualified for hood and they was laughing the black men and women was laughing at all the abuse that they did they ran me from the library with the evidence of the 911 calls and all the people gang member houses family houses they had me and abusing me from the videos and the clips because they had taken down my channel the andrea and so that jones channel so i just was typing it up i didn't have the videos but now I have the videos because I talked to the YouTube staff and they put the information back up because I said there was evidence of my baby heartbeat and they put it back up thank you Jesus and so um, they had murderers chasing me um, all over the south side of Atlanta trying to set me up to be murdered and I just started going on in on Keisha Lance Bottoms because she's the Atlanta mayor and she's a black lawyer and I'm pregnant in her city and she's trying to let them set me up to be starved and murdered because she's trying to be cool with white people and I'm pregnant and I'm innocent of the charges I was released from all the Montgomery County Jail on all charges and they didn't want to give me back my son that they threatened to abuse and then I'm over here pregnant with a baby that God kept alive Jesus Christ literally put his, put my hand over my womb and he prayed over my womb in Hebrew and asked and he 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 had it healed and my baby started moving again so they were starving us in the jail and kept trying to starve me when I got out and kept trying to kill me and fight me and I just kept showing that I was mad at Keisha because you don't do that you do not let people do that and then so I went to East Point Georgia because they ran me uh, out off the way by the West End and they had black people try to set me up to be murdered with the East Point police um, and tapped my phone trying to stop me from showing what they were doing and they had me outside and I was telling about them having me and bring me into different locations and this is why they're trying to have the man starve me right now in the motel room on Glenwood Road, the economy in and the economy in is involved. All the motels was involved with the operation to let them do this to me because I'm black and because Austin is white and they feel because he's white that uh, he can get away with uh, abusing me. But God said that he was going to jail when they tried to murder me. And so I was releasing evidence and showing that I had a GoFundMe. They shut down my GoFundMe in Texas saying that I was uh, a fraud or something like that or just shut me out of it. My GoFundMe account was still up, but I can't get no money. It's not giving me money. And um, I went to Lennox area. After they tried to murder me um, in East Point, I stayed out the South Side and I was showing that I was pregnant in Lenox Mall and that God said they was terrorists and Marcus Mitchell came up there, walked past me and intimidated me because he was the man that brought me after I left the Salvation Army trying to murder me and the baby in Luther Landis and I kept telling about my baby daddy and how abusive he was and the truth because God said my baby daddy was going to jail. But because he white, they don't want to look at the evidence at all. But God, like, no, he was abusing her and her son, and she pregnant. And I, and he ain't racist, so he telling the truth. And he was like, God he, uh, said that uh, Tracy should not have given my son away. And then I'm over here pregnant, and I want my son. And they trying to kill my baby and me, and they're trying to set me up like a drug addicted prostitute. And then God was like, they got black men coming and smoking cigarettes in my face, and coming and smoking weed, and trying to have me dirty while they done threaten my child. So I was in Lennox Mall making all of these videos. Please look these up. I have a whole series from one up to like 70. It's called The Black Terrorist Who Terrorized My Pregnancy by White Convicted Felon Austin John Metter. And they terrorized my pregnancy from Houston, Texas to Little Rock, Arkansas to all through Atlanta, Georgia for the past seven months. And I'm pregnant in this motel room being terrorized by another man. So they keep adding on evidence, adding on evidence, adding on evidence, having different people terrorizing us. But I think this is enough evidence right now for me to be able to contact uh, all over the world and let them know what y'all are out here doing to me in Atlanta, Georgia, pregnant with this baby. It's enough evidence. So they were starving me in Lennox. People, everybody knew I was pregnant. And they came inside the food court seeing me starving and about to pass out. And they were just munching and celebrating all in our face. And all I had was a mango to eat. And right now I'm starving with a bag of chips and crackers. And it's hurting my belly really, really bad um, for them to be doing this. But because you can tell that I'm pregnant and you can see my stomach and that I'm pregnant, they got them doing gorilla tactics, the black men, to try to hurry up and cover it. So they did shrink my stomach down um, in Buckhead. 
um, and they tried to murder me in Buckhead. All of the whole city of Buckhead tried to set me up to be murdered coming out their houses, trying to chase me from areas where I was sitting down working on the case. They had a white man run up on me with a stick. They had black men trying to give me alcohol to try to make the baby die because it's still alive. As you can see, look at my stomach very strong down. They had me walking around begging people for dollars for food. And then when I was going in the mall, they had the police with dogs uh, try to set me up with the black uh, uh, security staff. And you can see my stomach moving from when I left Texas to go to Barbara's house. And then my stomach moving out here in Atlanta and the baby's heartbeat. And then they tapped my phone and then set me up to be banned out of Lenox Mall and then tried to ban me. Well, they tried to harass me from the train station, um, the Lenox train station, but before they banned me from the mall, I was showing my stomach that I was pregnant in the mall and the black women was sitting there eating with white men, women in my face knowing I was starving, but I just kept putting out the evidence to blacks who terrorized my pregnancy from the time that I started my YouTube channel um, and then whatever was not on my channel and he just kept starving me in this motel room and I kept texting him and he's still not answering, not replying he said he was going to get us another extended stay, but he's not even answering to get us food. And so I kept uh, putting out the evidence of these screenshots. They threatened to rape my child and then got me chasing me all over Atlanta trying to murder me for these white people that said they was child molesters on top of that and child abusers. And if my son is alive, the only reason why he is is because of Jesus Christ. Just like the only reason why I'm alive is because of Jesus Christ. Just like the only reason why this baby in my belly is still alive is because of Jesus Christ. And then I started putting out, like, with Michelle Obama, she's sitting over here claiming she a black activist and got a whole academy out here and letting them try to set me up to be murdered pregnant. And she also has um, a degree um, and knows better than this. Um, but they worshiping the white people and then I told that the Salvation Army women is trying to be in conspiracy to murder a pregnant black woman in Atlanta, Georgia for white people and showing how they left me outside, how they leaving me outside and continuously trying to set me up to be murdered I was pregnant with this baby in the jail and this is why they terrorizing me because they know that this is the same baby from the jail this is me and Buckhead showing my stomach, showing me pregnant they trying to say it's a tumor so they trying to starve me, have me smoking and lying, say it's a tumor. You see the baby heartbeat. You see the baby moving in my stomach. God said that my baby daddy is going to jail. God said he was raping me and hitting me while pregnant with this baby. And so instead of black people having my side, instead of Keisha Lance Bottoms being a black lawyer saying, I will represent Andrea Jones myself. She got me over here like this, pregnant in this motel room, letting them starve us.
<laughs> so while I was in the Buckhead area, they had um, had a woman pick me up and try to pretend she was helping a black woman and take me to a shelter where they tried to starve us. But before she did, I told that I was pregnant, that they threatened to rape my son. And I told um, at the budget tell that, that, that they threatened to rape my baby. And, you know, when people take your baby and talk about they witches and talk about they going to do this for this white boy and Jesus have to stop them and the only reason why you and your baby is not hurt because Jesus had to stop them and they went through this judge uh, uh, to try to get my son but my lawyer and the judge over my criminal charges knew that it was all about white power the whole reason why they lied about my pregnancy the whole reason they had the investigator not come forward with the information on they doing this to me the whole reason why they took my son was for white power and then I was in Buckhead Atlanta with them trying to murder me showing that God showed me that the white man the old white man was the devil the white woman was a witch they over here trying to set me up worshiping satan trying to blood sacrifice us and then i had been having visions of beyonce again saying that she knew that i was pregnant and look how they doing her um and then God said, tell the truth about Bruce White. And these are text messages where Bruce White was trying to set me up like a prostitute. And I was telling him, you're not finna set me up. Talking about, it's fuck, I mean, having sex with you for no hundred dollars. And this is me this morning starving in the motel room. I was starving in the motel room and I had went to Miss Winters and she told me she came and locked the door and said they was closed, um, that they wasn't open yet. I walked down to the gas station and got a little taquito and showed my stomach that I was starving. This was yesterday morning and when I was making this video, the man hurried up and texted me and was like, oh, I'll be there at 1030 like he gonna help us. And then while I was in here making the evidence, he left us in the room starving me and left me till the next morning. Now still trying to starve me while I'm making this video because I went and got the screenshots of all the videos of what they did to me and these, these are the videos of me starting a new channel Queen of Halo because while I was in Buckhead while they were trying to set me up to be murdered remember I had Queen of Andrea I had Queen Andrea Antoinette Jones channel because they had Andrea Antoinette Jones channel set shut down with all the baby heartbeat videos and people that tried to set me up to be murdered from Texas and Arkansas and then so now on Queen of Halo I came back to Clarkston Georgia I left Buckhead where they tried to murder me and I had to start Queen of Halo channel and I was showing me pregnant wobbling around uh, baby bump shrunk still fighting for my kids they uh, started having celebrities come around they had CeeLo Green come to Colony Square where they denied me food and tried to starve me everywhere that I went in Atlanta the entire day because you could tell that I was pregnant on social media and then I just went off I was like, this woman threatened to rape my child. This woman is a witch. And showing my stomach. And y'all can see uh, the date on there I tell you. Uh, right now, it's August 29th. And the date on these videos will tell you this was right around the corner, just like just damn near a few days ago. And this man done brought me in here and shrunk my baby bump down significantly. And um, it's a black man been holding me captive since 2019. And this is him. Uh, he's in the video. I put a clip of him taking me um, to uh, the, this location and then showing my stomach shrunk down in the room and uh, saying that I'm being denied medical care and then showing videos of me all tore up and crying. And then Austin and this woman is online talking about it's a tumor and they got my family attacking me. And I'm just telling the truth that it's for Satan, that they not worshiping God. They don't care about each other as black people. Now they care about his money. And look what they did to my baby bump. They shrunk my whole baby bump in this motel room. And I'm telling you how they doing it. So I said, I'm in room 218 Glenwood Road, starving me in the room. They got ambulances trying to intimidate me as I'm putting out the evidence right now, swarming around the room, police. Um, and I said, they trying to make me have sex with them. So they made me have sex with this man uh, like the second, third day of starving me for food. And then I took the baby heartbeat, got my heartbeat monitor back working on my phone, on my new phone. And I posted that I'm pregnant, that the baby's still alive. And he got the nerve to still be in here trying to starve us because look at how much information I done already put out and they think that ain't nobody gonna stop them. They must think everybody racist and everybody scared to let them do this. And then I'm showing how starved my baby bump is, um, as y'all can see, and it does hurt very bad. I can feel my baby in me scratching. I'm at the Economy Hotel on Glenwood. It's the last day, and I got to leave in a few hours. So now they're gonna have me on the streets chasing me around 
um, Clarkston, Georgia, having me on foot with no bus fare. I texted him again, told him that my head was hurting. He did admit that he knew I was pregnant, that he could tell that I was pregnant, and I tried to find Keisha Lance Bottoms' office, and I looked up the information and it said that something about her at the city hall. So on Keisha Lance Bottoms website as the mayor of Atlanta, they had um, a tab that said in human trafficking ATL Georgia. And I clicked the tab because they are trafficking me pregnant with a child. And it said it could not be reached, of course, because look what they doing. So you will see right there on the tab um, where it says that. So I had decided that, you know, I was going to go to her office. So I looked up the information and I'm going to tell you what possessed me. The Holy Spirit possessed me to make me uh, feel like I could go to her office. And that I met, because I was listening to gospel music in here starving, I was like, let me get these tracks out of my hair because the tracks need to come out of my hair. I was going to redo my hair. And then I was listening to gospel and I was like, Lord, do it. Lord, do it. Lord. Do it for me right now. And I was like, hold on, let me see where this mayor office at because ain't no way you doing all this to a pregnant black woman trying to kill her on the south side, trying to kill her on the north side, trying to kill her on the east side, trying to kill her on the west side, the whole country trying to kill her, all the uh, people from Hollywood trying to kill her, you know, all these white folks trying to kill her and got the black folks trying to kill her and she don't know what's going on. So I said I done made videos telling on her online and it said you got to request an appointment to see her talking about and I was like let me see where the office is at and it said it was 20 minute drive so while I'm over here starving in the motel room she 20 minute drive away from me letting them do this crap to me and she knows about it because everybody knows about it and trying to pretend like they don't. So she's allowing me to be trafficked in her city um, and acting like uh, it's not happening and like they they can't get repercussions for it. And on top of that, they trafficking me while pregnant and trying to cover up evidence. Um, so that's tampering, concealing, withholding evidence, injury to a pregnant woman and a child. Um, it's all sorts of crimes that's being committed, rape, um, coercion, um, that's human trafficking. And so I looked up human trafficking um, because they were supposed to say in human trafficking on her site, but there was no uh, t website for that because they're out here doing it. And then they had a national number, but I know that all of America I already know because God done been with me and he showed me the entire country was trying to do this because they was racist. And so I was like, well, I don't need a national number. I need a global number for human trafficking. And when I looked up global globally, then slavery popped up. And then I was like, oh, okay. So they feel like because we were slaves in this country that they can traffic me and that globally nobody will stop them. But because nobody have come and got African Americans out of America from trafficking African Americans all the way from Africa and wherever else they did it from. So they feel like they can traffic me as a descendant of African people, African American people. They feel like they can traffic me without any consequences. And the black people feel that because we were slaves and because we were trafficked all the way from Africa, they feel like they don't have to stand up for me like I don't have rights. And God says that I do have rights as a human being and I do have rights as a pregnant woman. And they're saying that they're Satan is worshiping the white man, worshiping Satan, worshiping the devil that they don't care about God saying that I have rights. So they continue to starve me in this motel room and every time somebody admit that they know that I'm pregnant, as y'all can see from part one, Andrea Jones story featuring the baby and part two, this is part two Andrea Jones story, the Andrea Jones story featuring the baby that I was pregnant with from the jail. Um, they are um, trafficking us and feeling that uh, because they worship in the devil, um, the white man that trafficked them all the way from Africa or however that took place, they feel that they don't have to listen to Jehovah and Jesus Christ and give me rights for me and my babies. 
So I went on um, the YouTube platform to look up Keisha Lance Bottoms and see what recently has she been doing. I saw America is trying to ruin my image as a tool to murder me. That came up. And um, me being starved in this motel room came up when I looked her up. And the reason why I'm making this clip is because... God showed me that African Americans are worshiping these white people. God said throughout this whole ordeal, he said that I told everybody that Austin was abusing me. And he said, I am tired of them worshiping these white people um, because they knew the evidence to my case and was setting me up. Uh, they had gassed me in my cell while I was in labor. They did. They was gassing me. They was flying chemicals over us. You know, this is ridiculous. I'm pregnant and I'm black. And he was abusing me and my son. But God said that they just are being wicked. Like, some of them are scared. But the majority of them, God said, they just worshiping them. They are worshiping them. And even though we were slaves, they know who Jehovah is, but they're just decided to be evil because, you know, Africa been through a lot. And so to see um, Americans driving Range Rovers, Mercedes, living in big houses, you know, right now they looking at the perks, not knowing that judgment is going to come on the devil. They know that, but judgment is going to come on the devil. Y'all don't know when that's going to happen. You've been seeing the destructions of uh, this throughout the earth, but they don't care. They like, you know, we've been up under this white devil for this long and they calling him daddy, talking about, oh, you're going to get all us killed. He's our daddy. Um, and he threatened to murder all of the black women in the jails, go in the cell and kill all of the black women that's incarcerated right now because I shot a white man in self-defense. That is some coward shit. But they don't want black people of color all over the world to start to defend themselves and fight back and they don't want us multiplying um, so abundantly to where we'll be more numerous than them on the earth and to be working up under them in government and helping them cover up lies and crimes and persecutions against women and children I just had to find what she had going on in the media because you're not going to going to sit back and let people starve me and murder my child and me and I can't stand up to you because she is the mayor and she know they doing this regardless of if they intimidating her threatening her or if she just being a wicked black woman and deciding that she gonna do this to kiss up to these white folks, I had to say something because I'm gonna win the battle because of who my God is. And I don't care if you serving these white folks as your God, talk about you the mayor of Atlanta. My God name is Jehovah. And that white woman, Cynthia, that's putting all of these people up to this in her city, my God said that she ain't never did this to somebody who God name is Jehovah. Okay, so it's 8 o'clock a.m. and the man is still starving. That's why I'm putting out this information. But I went on the YouTube platform and I found a video with Keisha Lance Bottoms working with this committee people talking about development and housing and stuff in Atlanta, Georgia, talking about it's their 89th anniversary. And this was posted this week. So y'all know Queen of Halo. My son's name is Melbourne Halo Matter. And I saw they call him Halo and I, I'm Queen of Halo. And so I, uh, because they had... Andre Antoinette Jones channel shut down after all these stuff she had people doing. I went and asked YouTube to put the video back up, please, because it's evidence. And I'm begging, I'm asking you, please. And they did it. And so I got Queen Andre Antoinette Jones, Queen of Halo, leaving Egypt, God to free Freemasons, the Silk Ministry, the Lion of Judah, child abduction. And I said to Keisha, I left a comment and I said, Keisha is fraud. I said, look at her with all these other races over there, letting them starve a pregnant black woman in a motel room um, in her city. And I, I said in Atlanta, Georgia for protecting myself from a white man. I said, they tried to kill me and my baby in a jail cell in Texas, ran me out of Texas with the KKK. I came to Atlanta to get into a shelter, and I said, uh, people threw me out of the shelter. They sex trafficked me to gang members. They, uh, and I said, and then, uh, I said something about, um, they need to throw this lady in jail. That's what I said, Keisha. I said, they need to throw this lady in jail and throw away 
the key because and I know they're gonna get mad and try to arrest me for saying it but oh well because they been trying to arrest me and stage arrest on me and I'm a pregnant black woman but they need to arrest her for allowing them to do it to me in her city and throw because I'm over here being starved right now while I'm telling about all this information I said they need to arrest her and throw away the key I said, please hurry up and resign and step down. And I said, uh, me and my baby going to make it out of this city alive. So that's why I say, because you need to be in jail. You do not let people do this to a pregnant black woman in your city, especially not a black woman. You don't let nobody do this to no woman. And that just show they don't have as much power as they think they do or they just wicked. And so for me, God said, y'all might as well let Andrea start getting into office. You might as well let Andrea be the darn president. You might as well let Andrea be the mayor or the governor and come into these meetings with y'all and rule with y'all because she'll do it in righteousness. I would die for these women. I would die for these girls. I would die for these black children. I would die for them before I let somebody do what she let them do to me. I would be like, you got to kill me. Before I let y'all sex traffic her up out that shelter and try to murder her and that baby all over Atlanta. And that's why God called me queen because that's what a real queen do. That's what a real queen do. When her people being persecuted, she die with her people. And I don't got the title of mayor, but I got the title of queen. Black queen. African American Indian queen. And at the end of the day, my body is a temple. And for her to allow these people to do this to my body, and then try to go through with it still starving me in the motel room thinking they gonna go through with a murder is a satanic ritual death because we are of God we are the people made in his image and you gonna let the children of the devil take me and let the children of God set me up to be murdered and then have the children of God trying to kill me for them and trying to kill my baby in my womb for them so y'all can have wealth in this country and security with these devils we are a bloodline and the whites are saying don't say bloodline because of their bloodline from Satan and wanting to be the most dominant bloodline but we are the bloodline of Jesus Christ and Jehovah and there is no way that Satan bloodline is going to be superior to ours and I am saying this for every single African woman every single black woman that they have ever harmed from the beginning of time Y'all are wrong for what y'all did to us. And Queen Andrea Antoinette Jones is forfeiting any wealth in your kingdom and forfeiting any security in your kingdom by saying that I want vengeance for everything that y'all did to every single black person and black woman that you ever did it to. An apology. And they not going to apologize. So I want God to bring the judgment on them when he does judge the devil. So they running around with all this psychology and all this law degrees, but you don't got the Holy Bible right there. And if you do, you not understanding it clearly because his word is written on my heart, whether I have the Bible or not. And Jesus Christ said that the old white man was the devil. And so with that being said, Revelation says that he who is ancient of days, hair like wool, skin like bronze, is going to cast that old devil into the lake of burn and sulfur so if that means that y'all got to hide the truth and be up under these devils committing murders with them and then forfeiting your god word then that's just on you i hope it was worth the price that you're gonna have to pay on judgment day because god said that everybody that worshiped him would go to and they over here worshiping them setting me up to be murdered